Oh, it's a motherfucking Coco, baby. What up, what up, everybody? It's the boy Coco. <laughs> Welcome back to a morning session of uh, Black Desert Online. We are still on the beta session. I was able to fuck with this a little bit uh, yesterday after I went to sleep. I woke up three in the morning, played like an hour. Came back and said, this game is fucking amazing. So anyways, let's go ahead and get things started with the intro and we'll go from there. Ah, da, ah, da, ah, da. Boy, I'm trying to drink my hot cocoa and I short it. Some hot cocoa, baby. Alright, so the game, I was able to mess around with it. So there is definitely time lapse, meaning uh, time mechanics, where the time actually is going to be, it's going to become late. Creatures become more ferocious at night. Um, so I have some things to do here. Uh, the game is very, very good. I like the open world. Like I said, I was able to mess with it. You are able to interact with other players. There's fishing. There's hunting. There's events that they added actually here for the beta. Uh, there's just a lot to do. A lot to do here in this game. And I like that. I like to keep my mind busy. I like feeling like I'm actually adventuring. Going out and doing what I gotta do. So, um... You'll see what I mean in a little bit, what the game is about. But, again, the creatures, the one thing I do like about the creatures is that if you go here, right, you're not, they don't engage you unless you engage them. But you can aggro, you can aggro some of these creatures if you start hitting them. So, just keep that in mind. So, if you aggro these motherfuckers. Oof. So, I like the moves. I figured out how to make the moves work. Um, pretty much... Your, with your analog so you can go forward backwards and it does different things so just keep that in mind pretty much once I keep once I start equipping armor I have a helmet right now keep an eye on your health also on the top left but you are able to use your shield by the way so just keep that in mind and we leveled up and we accomplished the mission so let's go ahead and finish killing this one guy He's done. Alright. We completed that mission pretty much. Who the fuck is hitting me? Wait a minute. What was I was about to say, what's going on here? Um Alright, so apparently we're gonna speak with Faina. Um so Coco, when you're gonna be able to play, I'm using other headphones and I won't be able to mute my mic. Coco. What's the next stream? Uh, we're gonna play Fortnite after this. Yeet, yeet. What up, what up, yeet. We're gonna play Fortnite after this. So give me like about... Let me let me play a good hour of this game. Go get your breakfast. Go get your Wheaties. Uh, go get your orange juice. Go eat your breakfast. I'm, I'm gonna pretty much, like I said, play this for a good hour, hour and a half. And then we can play some Fortnite, okay? Anyways, uh, did you really clear out the tree spirits? I wanted to meet you in person, but not in this situation. The black spirit wants you to gain knowledge on all of the tree spirits. So I need to get mature, young, and immature, which we already did. Didn't we? Yeah. We're surrounded by imps and tree spirits. I try to hurry, but it seems we're late. The wagon is completely broken. Phew. I'm out here all alone. My name is Faina of Western Guard Camp. Could you please help me? Please find the wagon driver's silver and belongings from the imps. So we have to try take back the wagon driver silver from the imp soldiers, take back the wagon driver's belongings from the imp raiders, and defeat the imp wizards. So we got three types of imps. Okay. Uh, but your dinner be on 11:45 p.m. But, but your dinner? My dinner? No, I don't. I don't eat until 7 p.m. What are you talking about? 11:45? It's 11:46 a.m. Not p.m. What are you talking about? If you finish stream, I ain't finna talk. Alright, that, that's alright, Loki Boken. Go get your dinner. My phone. Oh yeah, I said dinner? I said Wheaties, not not dinner. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, let's see if we can speak to her. Yeah! So like I said, we're gonna take on these wizards. There you go, look at that. Look at that, look at that beauty. Coco, Coco, I like the moves. Like I said, you can go forward, you can go backwards, you can even go... You can do different things with this, which is pretty cool. Hard attack is R2, little attack is L1. 
Look at that. I like this. I like the shield bash. Um, now, magic we're going to fuck with once we, the game actually comes out. So, do keep that in mind. Aim defense tower. We took that down. Fuck that. Down attack. So, you can actually knock... You can actually knock them down. It's actually a good thing. He's knocked out. We got some raiders. Imp amulet C. Gain knowledge. Fuck out of here. I like I like the whole Spartan thing. I, I'm gonna finish putting these guys only because for the fuck of it. There you go. There you go. We completed that quest. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. My phone's about to die, though. Go charge it if you can. Uh, but uh, you said, so go get your breakfast. And I said, go get your dinner. After that, I said, but your dinner be on the... Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So, Coco, you're going to do a try not to... We are going to do a try not to laugh later on in the afternoon, like around 5 p.m. my time. Then the scary macanonis is going to be around 9 p.m. my time, 10, 8, 10 p.m. So we got a couple of things planned for you guys. My vacation officially starts after today, yeah. Faina, take back the wagon, okay. Completed that part. Alright, ask you to gain knowledge on the Amp Defense Tower, which we already did. Are you looking for Captain Cliff? He is looking for skilled mercenaries. If you really want to work for him, why don't you help drive out the imps? While you're taking care of the imps, I'll head to the Western Guard camp with the wagon driver and let Captain Cliff know. Imp subjugation. Defeat the imps and then return to Captain Cliff. So now we gotta defeat the imps. So we gotta subjugate 10 imps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like the combo wombos that you can do here. Very really good combo wombos. So if you do R1 three times, it goes it does this this um, AoE attack. Uh one, two, and then the shield bash. It's kind of like an AOE, but not really. You can definitely use your directional and analog sticks to do uh, different things. But like counters, you can actually press backwards and does this move. You can go. And that's a counter right there, by the way. So if you see an attack coming, you can just counter it like that. Shield Bash can actually have the possibility to knock them down. Um, I haven't tried three. Okay. L2 only does Shield Bash. So I guess your main focus is using R1 as your attack, so. But if you move a certain way, right? If you hold R1, right? It's gonna do something like that. Oof. I like that move. I like that move a lot. And you are going to get more moves as you keep playing along. You unlock them as you play. You'll see what I mean in the menu when I show it to you guys. There you go. Now we got to check the quest the quest window. I don't think he's going to attack us. We can do some gathering here. So there is some gathering. You can actually chop down trees. You can do a whole bunch of things. EXP minus down. Uh, you said go get so Coco. You gonna do a channel today? I am. Oof, that means 5 a.m. for you. Damn. Well, it, it will be a little bit late for you. I mean, unfortunately, but you know. All right, let's go ahead and check the quest window while we're here. Let them let them people do what they gotta do out here in the field. So the quest menu. You can actually speak with the spirit by pressing the down. This motherfucker pops up. The black spirit. Let's just think about us. Humans always try to make us do their work. So this thing is the, the thing that's actually stuck with us. We're going to figure out what his purpose is in this whole entire game. Because for whatever reason, this little thing is going to be an important part of the storyline. I can already see it. Fuck, I forgot how much of a pain the Dark Brotherhood missions are. I need Dejic armor. They are pretty hard. They are. Who cares? I sent you my playlist and funny shit. Alright. Sounds good. 
He says later. All right, so we gotta check the quest window. Press upwards on your directional sticks. You're gonna go to. Um, there's a lot to learn that you will be like, wait a minute, but where do I go, Coco? Where do I press? Don't worry, don't worry. So this is completed. The next thing we gotta do is Cliff said that you need. Uh, well, beginning of the journey, pretty much the main thing you're gonna be doing. Everything else is pretty much going to be bracketed up or stacked upon the importance of what you're doing so everything else is secondary to what you're gonna do it's pretty much the main story campaign so the check mark pretty much tells you that it's completed the next thing we got to do is this meet miguel aries in the blacksmith of western guard camp so we got to go to cliff and once you've accepted the mission it's going to give you a directional thing where to go to you're going to see a little compass next to that quest press circle and then you're on your way to the adventure the next adventure continue now these these little animals i don't know when the actual game comes out they're probably all gonna aggro um if you come into the field but what i'm assuming is that since they're low level they're not gonna do that i think once you go and you fight bigger monsters that's gonna be a problem so those are really gonna be aggroed straight off the bat so these are just small more small creatures or monsters they're really not gonna aggro towards your presence but like I said, I feel like once you have the actual big, big monsters, those really are going to do that. Alright, so we're going to go on our way to the next adventure. What's telling me to go this way? Is there a reason? Uh, okay, it's telling me to go this way. Hmm, funny shit. Uh, Coco, if you don't care of somebody and want to call them idiot, just say idiot, then it's gone since you don't want to waste your time. I don't like calling people names. I really don't. I mean, unless unless they're like racist motherfuckers, then I'm sorry. Like, unless you're racist, I'm going to disrespect you. But I, I try not to disrespect anybody because, you know. Let's, let's keep it 100. Um, There's no point of, you know, wasting your time disrespecting. Oh, this is some Japanese motherfucker right here. Um... You don't want to disrespect them because at the end of the day, it's like you're stooping down to their level. So, now we're in a safe zone. You're in a safe zone. This motherfucker is big. That motherfucker probably got a big, big, big daddy dick. Um, no homo. Let's go ahead and see what Duvain has to say. The Ardellians never lose pride in them. Okay. This is Western Camp. Can I speak to him? Not enough knowledge. So I have some knowledge. You do gain a certain... Um, so from the beginning of the game, I don't know if you guys noticed. You can pick a class and within those classes, you have subclasses that pretty much help you... Um, I don't know. How can I put it? It helps you with certain little side quests or little side conversations that you can have. My character is supposed to be a linguist. He'll eventually, you know... He'll eventually become a little bit better in that trait. I'll call them, let's call them traits for now. You're able to pick up certain traits that help out with uh, the way your character develops and whatnot. Sub-branches of, of, of their, I guess, class or whatever you want to call it. Uh, unless it's a, it's a scammer and racist. The missions that I usually do are the College of Winterhold, that's really good. But now I'm going to hold off on that so I can buy Deja cards. Buy them or you're going to farm them? Because I don't think you could buy Deja cards, can you? I gotta take a shit. I gotta take a shit. I gotta get. I gotta get. I gotta gotta, gotta, gotta take a shit. Although, it's where a violent group of soldiers are stationed, they are more useful than I thought. I'm proud of paying my share of taxes. Let's see what we can trade. Um, if we can buy things, let's see. We can buy miscellaneous goods. Let me see. Imp totem fragment. No purchase conditions. So it's gonna take a little while to get used to. I don't have any silver, but let's see what they have here. They have certain things here that cost a lot of money. There's really nothing else here. Medicine, ogre ex excrement? What? So the stocks have not been fully opened. I'm guessing that we're gonna pretty much learn what we can as we play along. Oh fuck, I'm also need to get the ebony mine. Yep, yep. 
Um, you can buy Deja cards off that Nibba who you kill if you do the college missions. Deja Boy just been in his place before. Yeah, um, I forgot about him, but that's you gotta complete the whole thing. I forgot about him. So we can buy horses. There's currently no mounts summoned. Can I? So we gotta find mounts. We haven't been able to do that yet. Exchange horse. We don't have anything. We don't have nothing to get a horse, nothing to trade with yet. We haven't pretty much done anything. I'm assuming once you are able to... Let me see, what's it called? I'm assuming once you're able to pretty much grind for money and stuff like that, you get what you need. Anyways, let's not waste too much time. Let's go ahead and go straight to the mission. What the fuck is going on here? What the hell? Baby girl, you okay? What the fuck is this? What the hell? That baby girl was dragging her ass like she was gonna suck some dirt. Anyways, let's go ahead and speak with uh, Captain Cliff. I'm assuming he's gonna give us the next mission. Oh, Captain Cliff. Trust me. No wait, he it's uh, another Nebo who just didn't talk to you who became a leader. The tiny nose told me. So now we have the goblins uh, and humans working together. That motherfucker looks like Nani. That fucking Stop. goblin looks like Nani. That's his Nani! Sir, I see. You there, go with them. Yes, sir. <sighs> Two empty this. This won't be easy. I'm Cliff. Captain of the Western Guard Camp. Okay. All the fellows follow my command. Good friends are worth more than my life. Recently, the imp captain, Red Nose, has been causing trouble. Red Nose, huh? Okay, so we're gonna pretty much move on with uh, doing what Captain Cliffs has told us. We're just talking about who to entrust our mission to the one who can break through the Steel Imp's offensive line. Okay, so there's a little bit, there's a little bit of stuff going on. So now I can see determination in your sparkling eyes. Great, but you must prepare yourself. Why don't you go meet our blacksmith Miguel Aris, which we kind of already did. He has prepared gear for the upcoming battle, so he's gonna give us our first gear. Meet with Miguel and then go from there. We still can't speak with him because our stuff is not high yet. We can't do any node management here because, you know, it is what it is, you know. We'll leave it as it is. We'll leave that part as it is. And I'm assuming once you unlock the entire game, you will be able to start looting. But let me just show you. You can learn a new skill, Precise Thrust. You can learn a new skill, Ground Roar. Shield charge. Ooh, we got new skills. Forward slash two. Uh, let's check our inventory. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's check our inventory. Where is our inventory? I remember it was right here. All right, so we have a shield, and we have something else for us to equip. We don't have a horse yet, but that's okay. Like I said, we're we gonna we wanna get there. With what we gotta do? So, no biggie, no biggie. Uh, we'll find a horse in the meantime, like I said. That's, that's part of the storyline. I need to find a white ball to do the quest, get Dawnbreaker, while people is the most powerful one here in the sword. Dawnbreaker? At the beginning, yes. But not later on. Later on, you get better things. You can craft your own better weapons. Coco, will you ever get TikTok? I don't know. Um, uh, do I have to get TikTok? Let me see. The current shield I have is 1, 2, 1, 3. Is this if I if I get TikTok like what am I gonna do? I don't want to act dumb. I'm really not one to show my face. I mean, don't get me wrong. Likes are nice. Being popular is nice, but doing it out of stupidity. Uh... First of all, let me see. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I need to look at my skills. Uh, first of all. Let's look at our skills. Let's see what we learn, because we do have new things that we learn, and we do that. We do want to put them on there. I might consider doing a TikTok in the future. All right, so we do have. Let me see. Charge shield strike skill demo. 
Oof. Oof. I think I want to learn that. I got, okay, so I got required skill points, cooldown, 10, required skill level. We can learn all of these. Precise thrust. Oof, I like that. What is this one? A new skill has been learned. Oh no, I use my potions. Let's go back, let's go back. Learnable, charging whiplash. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold up a second. I can't unlock these just yet, evasion, it's L1, L2. Can kick with circle. You can actually do stuff with circle? Wait a minute, I didn't even know this. Meditation. What does that do? Consume HP per second. What? R1 and R2? I can do a heavy strike? Like a choke slam. I love it when you use your fist to kill someone and when it's the last enemy you do a cool ass finisher. Yes, I do, I have seen that. I have seen that for, for um, Skyrim. Okay, so right now I'm trying to see what, what do I have on me. I did have something else for me to learn. I should have I taken the charge. There was something here that made me scream and I wanted to see what that would, what that would, that would look like. Um, jump thrust. There was something here I could learn. This, this, ground roar. L2 and R2. What about... Hmm. Emergency escape. L1, L2, L1, R2, X. What the fuck? Okay, so I can learn this, right? I think I learned everything. Motherfuckers is dragging themselves. What the fuck are they doing? What the hell's going on here? Why are they dragging themselves? <laughs> anyway, let's go speak with with the let's go speak with this guy. This guy's supposed to have some stuff for us. Wanna check in your horse? Is I'll it Mike or Miguel? Oh no, it's Miguel. Miguel Arias. My bad, Miguel Arias. We gotta speak with Miguel. Miguel. Miguel Arias, which is the blacksmith. The, wait, didn't I just to get started? Check the quests. I already spoke with, wait, no, I spoke with this guy. No, 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 I'm supposed to go speak with the blacksmith. Where is the blacksmith? Am I tripping? Hold on a second, let me, let me see what's going on here. Meet Miguel Ari as a blacksmith of Western Guard Cap. Cliff said you need to prepare yourself before ambushing the imps. Where the fuck is Miguel? Am I tripping right now? Oh, wait a minute, am I tripping right now? Cliff, captain of the Western Guard camp. Spoiled, spoiled Jared? Grand Chamberlain Jordan. He cannot be trusted. Okay, but I still get to meet with Miguel. That's, that's what I was trying, trying to talk about. So we do have new skills. We're going to put them to test later on. These motherfuckers got a fucking... Mm. Alright, so the blacksmith is on this side. Let's go ahead and speak with... Miguel Aris. This motherfucker look. This motherfucker look like he's strong and shit. These muscles, they're for the captain. Whoa, whoa! That Wait a minute, that's not a hella suspicious. These muscles, they're for the captain. Do you want to know why I'm so toned? You can't just claim loyalty, you have to live it. I don't wear armor. Why not? I can't breathe in it. Looks like you need to prepare yourself before ambition. So we got 
Briar armor. My muscles follow only the of always open. Cliff. For adventurers like you, you have to pay the price for it, of course. Faina is waiting for you over there. Hmm? Did you forget already? She's our captain, you saved. So, meet Faina at the Western Camp. Let's go meet Faina. Is only earned. Let's My see what he has. Ladies. Let's see what he has. He says he has shop. You go, oh, your weapons are gonna actually get damaged. That's crazy. What? How much fucking money is this? I don't even have that much money. How much money do I even have? Get the fuck out of here. Wait, what? That's a lot of fucking money. Let's go meet with Fena. Let's go meet with Fena. I think that's Fena right here. Let's go ahead and equip that actually now that we're here. Ah, stop drinking your fucking potions, my lord. Oh, my lord. Let's go ahead and put... You can always compare the stats by pressing square. You know, show you what you have on. Right now, I don't have anything on. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Now, we have our defense went up by 11. Attack is up by 9. Um, hopefully, we can actually go ahead and buy new things. We did find a couple of more things. Let's see. I, I should be able to actually... Do I have any new skills? Nothing new to learn. Well, probably our attack did go up though. Let's go speak with Faina and see what's going on. Are you here to meet with Captain Cliff? Beshesha. This is bad. More and more soldiers are getting injured here. Doing our best just isn't enough. Everyone here believes in the meet Faina at the Western Camp, okay? We got three more potions. It's worrisome, but the number of the wounds. The fate of this camp is on you. If you win this battle, you might be able to return to Hydale. You must defeat the Steel Imps. Steel? First, in order to summon Red Nose. The Steel Imps are much stronger than any imp you have faced thus far, but since they are closest to the Red Nose, you'll be able to find traces of him once you defeat the Steel Imps. So we gotta go take on the Steel Imps, which is fine. It's the imp, Red Nose, that's making trouble. How about we just start calling every midget Nani? <laughs> he might not like that. He probably might get tight. He'll probably get tight. Greet. Oh, you don't want to steal. Hell no. What happens if I say hi to her? <laughs> you do not want to steal. Stealing is bad for you. Let's go take on the steel limbs and see what's going on. They give you little tutorials. Like I said, this game has a lot for you to learn. But you will eventually. can actually kick you can kick these motherfuckers wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute look 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 fuck out of here with that bullshit you can do karate kicks and shit Ooh. kill that motherfucker that's four i need one more one more Yeah. I want to see what what is it that I, I was supposed to use forward slash counter. Where is my uh? Oh, that's how you block. I'm trying to find how how you do my my forward slash thing. Wait a minute. There you go. Check the quest window. Oof. Damn. Yeah, we could start calling every Mejinani. Why not? Why not? At this point, why not? All right. So let me figure out how the how. I really wanted to try out that that strike. Um. Didn't I learn? Didn't I learn? Okay. So I do have these other moves. Uh, shield strike R2 charge shield strike So it's L2 L1 L2 L1 forward slash L2 R1 R2 L2 R1 
Oh, two out. Oh, I'm coming. What was the one I just learned? Where is it? Oh, two out one. Help. Shield charge. Is it charging slash? Deep thrust. That's what I wanted to learn. That's the one I learned. It's L2, L2, R1. Okay, so L2, I remember that. L2. Ooh! I found it. I found it. So now we got L2, L2, L1. Ooh! My God, those combo wombos. Look, 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 look. They can't get close to me. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Yo, these combo wombos. Do you remember this, this and the memes? What is that? You gotta remind me. I gotta get through this. I gotta get through this. Alright, so let me go ahead and open the quest menu. That was actually very exciting. Shit. So now that we've completed this. Check the, check the quest window. We checked the quest window already. Oh, we gotta speak with this dude right here. My bad. Oh, you're quite good. I heard that you have to trust the Captain Cliff. Here, take this militia weapon. Don't let your guard down when fighting them. So now we got a militia weapon? These imps have a camp up north of here. It's probably where the ones you defeated came from. So now we gotta go take care of these motherfuckers. Okay. I'll take that. Sad, you remember. When you enter Coco Streams, Crosby, Takaji69, and Pringles Camp. What do you mean? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. What is that? I mean, I, I, that can mean so many things. You gotta give me more hints than that. That's like that don't count. I need, I need better hints than that. I need better hints than that. Uh, put photo mode into your ring menu by going into the edit ring. Why is this guy attacking me? Wait a minute. What's going on here? I thought this was a safe place. Wait a minute, what? There you go. You got some cars the pillar the pillar man. Oh then fucking say that. That can mean so many things. I was thinking something I was thinking something completely different. Which I'm not even gonna bother saying what I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, the pillar man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways, uh, we can go ahead and start running. We're not going to deal with these steel imps no more. That was pretty exciting. I get to learn new skills and whatnot, so. There's something going on over here. What is this? Wait a minute, what is this? Do I have to pick this up? I guess not. I gotta take a shit. My stomach's feeling bubbly. Damn, girl, you smell so good. I wonder if you went ahead and cleaned your cooch. It was smelling like seafood last night. When I told you, put some lotion on your backside. Yeah, and spread them cheeks. Felt a little bit of dookie in those cheeks. Now, got peanut butter over my face. Damn, girl, that shit's. <laughs> Let me stop. Um, alright, no problem. I gotta take it. Oh, what the fuck? He attacked me? Why? What the fuck? I gotta kill 20. I guess I, I gotta kill 20 of them. My man. Combo Wombo time.
Oof, I'm, I'm, I'm killing it with these combo wombos, man. I'm killing it with the combo wombos. I think I had a weapon and I didn't equip it. Successless charging slash. Oof. I can actually get I can actually get stuff from these motherfuckers. Alright, let me go ahead before I do anything. Let me go ahead and equip what I had. I have a weapon here that I can equip. Yeah, now we got a better sword. Look at this shit. Fuck out of here. All you motherfuckers. I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking this is. Saint Judge Judy though. Saint Judge Judy motherfuckers. The Saint Judge Judy pendejos. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. Get out of here with this bullshit. My ah, uh, my man, I'm getting a hold. I'm getting a hold of this. I kind of know what I gotta do. Oof! I gotta kill twenty of these motherfuckers. I can just keep knocking them down. That's the beauty of this. Yo. You don't understand right now what's going on. This shit's just this shit's just incredible right now what's going on. The fact that I can actually knock them down and now I don't even have to worry about them actually doing any damage to me. He's dead. I got better at this. I really got better at this. For sure. Oh, and I can hit them in the air. Look, look, look. So, look, so if I do this, right? If I do this, right? Let's say I go do this. And then I go this. Oof! So they get double damage when they're down. And if I knock them like this, right? Oof! I see now. I see now. So if I go like this, boom. And then boom. Oof! At 7 a.m., monsters lose their power and go back to their normal state. I like that move throw them in the air and then they just go back down I like that move I really do like that move a lot rewards reset don't miss out I get it but none of this stuff is gonna none of this stuff is gonna stay with us from what I was reading my god not even using them Pringles can right now you think so in the morning as he wakes up you think you think a little bit too early? You think a little bit too early to be using it? Okay, we got him. We got him. Summon the Black Spirit. Alright, so we were able to do this. Let's go ahead and summon the Black Spirit and see what's going on here. Why are these imps called Steel Imps? I've always been curious about that. Maybe it's because these imps are tough as steel. How about we give you the title Steel Peshusha? <laughs> Don't give me that look. I know deep down inside you're already laughing because of the, my joke. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steel Peshusha. A soldier guarding the Western Guard camp said there's a steel imp base up to the north at the altar of Agoras. Defeat the steel imps and find evidence regarding Red Nose. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, talk to Tiny Nose at the imp camp. Who's hitting me? Are you that ass hitting me, my man? Fuck out of here with that bullshit. He's dead. All right, let's start heading towards to get started. Let's start. Let's let's get over here before we don't want to aggro anymore. <sighs> okay, so let's see. Who is this? Is this? I'm assuming this is uh. Greetings. This is the three-way road shop. So we got people who had look like deers. Send the Pringles can image to Nani and see his 
Reaction. Welcome back, E. Welcome back. Make sure to have enough necessities since it's dangerous. Uh, I met a few adventurers. Incas wants to get rid of the gray fox attacking his shop. Damn, we get a whole bunch of shit by doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and accept. I'm sorry to say that I cannot buy your goods. Okay, so we gotta defeat three gray foxes. Unfortunately, are these gray foxes? These are weasels. We gotta defeat gray foxes. So these are weasels. Unfortunately, I don't want to kill these foxes, but we're gonna have to because I mean we want to get the reward. You know, know what I'm saying? Now I'm saying. Now I'm saying. What the fuck are these foxes? Fuck out of here with that bullshit. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. That's two foxes. Defeat great. Wait, what the fuck is great foxes? Wait a minute. That's not great foxes. Wait a minute. Hold up a second. That's not great foxes. Don't tell me the great foxes are these little bullshits over here. Wait, what? It's a weasel. Oh, they're over here. We completed the mission, okay. Uh, yes, I found the beacon. The beacon? Oh, with the light? The quest of the light? Dawnbreaker is a very good starting, starting, uh, it's one of the Daedric, isn't it one of the Daedric weapons? Select one. Um, I'll take this. I'll take that. Yeah. You need knowledge on imps to know their HP. Understood. So we end up getting a bar of gold. Can we speak more with him or no? As of now, it wouldn't be an exaggeration to call Agris Step the land of imps. Okay. 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 Let's go ahead and take the next quest. Um, imp stronghold. We gotta attack the tiny nose at a rip camp. Hella good, very useful against the dead driver. Yeah, but later on, like I said, you find better weapons. So, well, so much for those steel imps, right? What a disappointment. So much for adding steel to your name. Captain Cliff, he wanted you to track down Rednos, right? That's the imp that stole one of the artifacts from the ancient stone chamber. I can sense him nearby. The traces of black energy are all too familiar. All right, so we gotta we gotta go to the imp stronghold. It's gonna be tiny nose, not red nose. So let's go ahead and locate this motherfucker right here. I like the music too. It's very calm. Like just the nature. Looking at this just looks very nice. What? What you said, my man? What the fuck you said? What the fuck you said, my man? What the fuck you said, my man? Fuck out here with your bitch ass. With your bitch ass. Who is this? Is this a player? Is this a player or a... It looks like a player. Wait, Coco, are you gonna buy the battle pass this season? Uh, I'm gonna be... Uh, I'm gonna skip on it. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna buy the battle pass. I'm gonna skip it this season. Uh, they they didn't do anything. You know I like dragons, fantasy. I like all that stuff, but I didn't see anything that actually caught my my attention. Like okay, it's it's just different reskinnings. Like nothing too interesting for me. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna skip it. I'm just gonna skip it. Okay, hopefully I don't have to fight anybody here. I am in the enemy stronghold, by the way. He has the key, you know? Bing de bing de bing bing de bing de bing de bing de bing de bing de bing They're definitely gonna give us some missions here for us to do. I can tell they're gonna give us missions here. So let's see first of all what we have. What do we have? What did we unlock? So we have uh, ancient iron corn. We got some gold bars. 
we got some other things that we've unlocked. Let's see, we might we might be able to have some new skills that we have. Oh, we can we can learn new skills. Okay, they have a steel dragon for their ninety for tier ninety five. Yeah, I saw that. It looks interesting, but I was like, ah. Let me see ground roar. What does this do? Fitness training. What does this do? It gives me one milli up, max HP ten. What does this do? I don't like that one. Uh, forward slash. Charge shield looks interesting though. You can stun enemy. Of course, there's guard pressure do. Okay. Shield charge. L2 R2. I like L2 R2. R1, okay, I, I'm gonna go with the shield charge. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the shield charge. Let's see how does that. Oh, it has a cooldown effect. Ah, it has a cooldown effect. Yo! <laughs> Let's go ahead and speak with this motherfucker. Let's go ahead and speak with him. Sneaking up here without being noticed by Red Nose, that's really simple. Yeah, that seal dragon looks cool, but I'm like, eh. Stay back, human, back. I don't want to get in trouble with the boss. The Black Spirit said there is a suspicious creature lurking inside the end cave. Tiny Nose pointed toward a wall inside the cave as he trembled in fear. So we're gonna fight our first monster, I'm assuming. I can also trade. I learned how from Luke at the Western Guard camp. If you want to trade between Vela and the camp, you need to secure the trade route. Vela, Logia Farm, and this end cave need to be connected. You understand, right? Even I get it. Invest in the Logia Farm and the end cave nods. Notes. How do I invest, you can though? Get orbs by investing here. You can get orbs by investing here. Let's see if I can do something here. I'm still not so familiar how the how do I invest I don't have enough contribution points now I don't know how would you, how one would get contribution points I have to read a little bit more on that Coco what's your favorite stone in Skyrim mine is the speed stone plus 100 weight and no heavy armor um that's good but I like the, actually I like the one is it the lover stone or the snake stone I think it's either between the lover stone or the snake stone uh, and, and I have reasons behind that. Uh, you can pretty much replace the other stuff with the armor, like the stone you have. I can replace that with armor with armor by giving, you know, um, extra weight and whatnot. The lover stone and the snake stone. I forgot it was. No, no, no. The thief's not the snake. The thief stone and the lover stone. Um, thief stone for obvious reasons. You're, you're protected a little bit better. You can counter that with maybe getting the Brotherhood of steel um, armor but you won't get that later on in the game so it's kind of good to have the thieves stone the lover stone because you know obviously it gives you uh, more HP I think it gives you plus something to all your stats I forgot what it was but it's two two very good stones uh, let's see the Argonaut the Argonaut stone is actually pretty good too I think if I'm not mistaken is it Argonaut I forgot what it was called um, Alright, let's go ahead and continue with this mission. Um, strange marks. Symbolic, but it's difficult to comprehend. So there is some stuff here. Uh, there is an inscription on the wall that looks like an ancient language. It becomes useless once you can reach level 60 or some shit for armor, slow down and heavy armor, but for starters... No, for starters is hella good, absolutely. I'm not seeing things, am I? You saw the same thing I saw, didn't you? About that symbol on the wall, seems like it's a symbol about Red Nose. I don't think we'll be able to get any more clues from the little imp. At this rate, we won't be able to track down Red Nose, what should we do? Aha, let's talk to that person over there, although I get the impression that he might be, in fact, after me. Right, 
let's go speak to whoever the fuck it is he wanted us to speak with. So the plot thickens, and uh, we're actually able to. We're not gonna engage any of these monsters yet. There was a chest there that I wanted to open, but I wasn't even able to get to it because obviously, you know, we don't have the key for it just yet. Talk to Uno. Who the fuck is Uno, though? We're gonna find out shortly. Let's see who Uno is. We're outside the combat zone, though. Who is Uno? Is this a little. Is this another nanny motherfucker? Is this Nani again? No we found Nani again! Imps. Thus, it is my duty to. I believe in science, but that doesn't mean I disapprove of alchemy or magic. Mysterious phenomena occur in each of these fields. What do you think? Are you confused? You might need some time to figure things out like me. Yeah, let's take it slow. We found Nani. Nani's doppelganger. Have you seen the red so nose? you must be Peshoshim. Don't be surprised, I'm a friend of Adan. You possess the black energy as well, right? I was doing some research on the black energy that is currently inside Red Nose. The black spirit said that the imps are of no help and wants you... Wants to... Wants to you meet... What? That sentence has got to be a glitch. And wants you to meet the person outside of the cave. And wants to you meet... That's a bad sentence. I don't know if you guys can see that. The black spirit said that the imps are of no help and wants to you meet... The person outside the cave. <laughs> That's some bad translation right there. That's some really bad translation right there. Uh, you can talk to was in the cave. If my memory says Red Nose only I, ever desired power. Notes. The black spirit heard his lament and granted what he wished, but in return, Red Nose paid the price and was swallowed by the darkness completely. Speaking of darkness, you seem perfectly fine. How is this possible? Wait. That's not important right now. What is the origin of Retinose Black Energy? We need to know where it came from to know how to proceed. Retinose used to reside within the altar of Agris. I'm sure you'll find clues about his whereabouts there. Okay. I'ma just use my shouts. The shouts are good too. I stopped using... The only shout I actually found good was the one to render the dragons down. And the Fusro. Uh... Everything else was like the f the frost shout, the fire shout. Like they're all kind of good, but that's why I stick to magic. Cause magic obviously is a little bit better in my opinion. Fus, ro, goda. All right, let's go ahead and start running. Running, running, running through my head. All right. So, we're eventually gonna catch up to Red Nose. I'm assuming that's where the, the quests are gonna stop. Defeat those group of steel imps around the altar of Agris. I'm gonna have to kill so many of these motherfuckers. I already have a feeling. I already have a feeling. Ooh, ooh. Look at those combo wombos. I stunned them. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Look at the combo wombos. I can just stun these motherfuckers. And they won't do shit. I love the fact that they can get stunned. My man gets stunned. I like that. I like that AOE attack that you can actually go boom. Groundbreaker. I gotta defeat 50 of these motherfuckers. What is this little piece of shit doing here? Let's start heading up. Let's start heading up. Uh, I'm assuming what they want me to defeat is up here. They're getting a little bit startled, but it's okay.
Uh, I'll just use Whirlwind Sprint at some times. Yeah, well, yeah, that, that is pretty good too, especially when you're, uh, you know, going through the caves and trying to, you know, analyze what's going on here. Beshushus, some beshushus. Okay, so I gotta do combo wombos. One, two, three, four. Shushes. I gotta defeat 50 of these motherfuckers. Which is fine because, they, look, at this point. Oh, what the fuck? I can defeat that? Wait a minute. I can actually destroy that? I can destroy these things? Wait, what? And what's in here? Nothing? So by defeating this, look, so I get a little practice as to how my character is going to play, and that's okay. That's okay, that's okay to get a little bit of practice on these motherfuckers. Now I got a little bit more, so the more of these animals, I mean monsters you defeat, the more information you get on them, you know? And that's okay, that's what you actually want. So you get to you get to learn the combo wombos. This looks like a nice little group of Ooh. Yo, I'm like I'm just doing the most right now. I'm putting in work. It's work. It's work. I'm putting in the most work. The only thing I wanna know is how to how to lock. That's the only thing I wanna figure out. Uh it's a, what it's kind of free range when you actually fight these enemies. Which is fine by me. If I can knock this down, what happens? Ooh, I can knock shit like that down. Okay. You see, I like that move. I can knock them, I can knock them in the air and... Twenty-seven. I'm gonna go ahead and take whatever the hell he has. Imp on. What is this? Let me see. Can I wild herb? What? Running, running, running through my head. What the fuck is are those monsters? Wait a minute. What the fuck is this? What? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is I don't even know what these things are. What the fuck? I don't think I'm even doing any damage to them. I don't think like I'm doing any damage to them. I don't even think I'm supposed to fight them just yet. I'm gonna stay away from that. Uh, those motherfuckers look huge. Anyways, we got we gotta defeat the steel imps. That's what we got. Let's focus on one thing at a time. One, two, three, defeat 30 groups. There you go. That's 32. Just gotta keep going around, trying to find more imps to defeat. So I figured that was, that's what, ugh, I figured that's what was gonna happen. Um... I wish I could aggro just a whole bunch of them. But I like the game so far. I don't know what you guys think about the game. Um, obviously, every game like this is going to be a little bit grindy. It's, it's normal, you know. But 
I, I am enjoying it. I am enjoying it. I like the story behind it about the black energy. I want to figure out why we were chosen. Obviously, a little cliche like, like Loco Dokken said. Uh, the fact with the, the black energy, but we don't know yet. I mean, the game has been out a while for PC. I'm just curious to see what the fuck is going on. That's why I didn't spoil myself anything that had to do with that. With the game. Um, to find out what, what the hell the black energy is. But we're coming close to completing at least this first part of the game. Which is pretty much getting to Red Nose. And the reason why it's called Red Nose, as you can see, some of these uh, imps, they do have a Red Nose. That motherfucker's gotta be huge in order for me to actually even speak to him, so... the combo wombos though I like the stunning I, I'm gonna I have to start using my stunning weapons I like that I really do like that move the best out of all of them the, what did the steel and warrior okay more more ornaments that's fine I'll take that now we got a combat skill point we're at 40 what else do we need? So I'm gonna go over here. I think this is where I'm supposed to go anyways. The altar is on this side. Uh, so let's stick to yeah, let's take over let's stick to what we know. Which you know channel 44. You're cornered my man, you cornered. You ain't gonna do shit. Do not get back up. Alright, so we're here in the circle, the altar of Agris. It shouldn't take that long. Uh, what else have we got to defeat here? They do worship the dark energy though. I'll tell you that much. They do worship the dark energy. Hmm. I like the forward, the forward, uh, and you can stun them. I like that. Ooh. The combo wombles are real in this game. Combo wombo time. Okay, three more to kill and we're pretty much done with this mission. Three more to kill and we're done with this mission. She took my kill, so from what I've noticed... If you kill one of these monsters, they don't count, they don't count, you know. If you hit them first, that's pretty much your kill. If somebody else comes and touches it afterwards, it doesn't count for them. That's what I've pretty much assumed at this point. It's 49, one more. One more to go. Lydia died. What the hell? How did she die? I thought she was immortal, no? Oh, so you can reposition yourself with R2. Okay, summon the Black Spirit. So we're, we're good now. Let's go ahead and summon the Black Spirit. Hey, hey, hey. They've succumbed to their fears and have given Red Nose their complete loyalty. Uno said that the altar of Agris is Red Nose's place of origin, and we may be able to find clues there. Go and eliminate the group of imps that are occupying the altar of Agris. We did that already. The dark energy that controlled Red Nose, who knows, it could be the work of those wizards. Let's take their staffs and investigate, they seem suspicious. 
Now we gotta defeat wizards. Now that we, we gotta defeat wizards. We gotta defeat wizards. Yeah, motherfuckers. Y'all don't know Coco got the Coco got the moves. Coco got the moves like Jagger. Fuck out of here with your bitch ass pumpkin. Now we gotta defeat the wizards. Where the fuck are the wizards? Right here. Now we can summon the black spirit again. Take the steel imp wizard staffs. supposed to give us something now we got a gift got you got the dawn breaker nice nice I like the way it shines one of the first artifacts of the Daedra all right so now we got to take the staffs from Where is it asking me to go? It actually wants me to go this way? It really does want me to go this way? I mean, I, I guess I could go this. Oh, I see what they want me to do. I see what they want me to do. I gotta defeat the warriors and... Okay. They just want me to keep killing shit, huh? My man! I like that. I like that combo wombo style right there. There you go. Groundbreaker, bitch. Groundbreaker, bitch! Y'all can't fuck. Y'all can't fuck with the police. Y'all can't fuck with the police. Look at that. I just did all those combo wombos. I just need to defeat Steel Imp Warriors. Where are the Steel Imp Warriors? They're over here, these motherfuckers. Y'all can't fuck with the police. Y'all can't. I remember another powerful sword that you can get, not necessarily the glitch for using the whirlwind spring. Isn't it the sword that actually absorbs blood? Is that is that it? The two-hand uh, Muramato or something? I don't know what it's called. It's a two-hand katana sword. I think I, I got that one towards the end of the game. I really didn't need it, but I ended up getting it. Defeat the steel imps. There you go, we defeated that. Now we gotta defeat the warriors. And then we gotta take another Imp Wizard staff. Can I kick him off the cliff? If that could kick him out oh if I could kick him off the cliff, that would be so hilarious. Let's see what else can I get. What's going on here? Shit. I'm assuming that's what I'm gonna fight for. The two hand katana sword is a deep artifact. Yeah, 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 that's the one, that's the one. He completed those before the platinum.
My man. There you go. Now we just need a wizard staff. That's all we need is a wizard staff. I just need a wizard staff at this point. Uh, wizard, wizard, my man. Now we can summon the black spirit. Let's see what he wants us to do. To get it, you don't have to hear like the gossip or some shit about the. Yeah, the kid was acting a little bit suspicious, and I don't mean in a gay way. He was just acting suspicious as fuck. So. Look, it's the cowardly tiny nose. He mustered up enough courage to come all this way. It could be fun to scare him, but it's not the time to do that. Let's go talk to him. Okay. Let's go speak to Red Nose. I mean, Tiny Nose. I'm assuming we're gonna beat those monsters in just a little bit. It looks like it's an exclusive event. You can't even touch those monsters just yet. Because if you could, you'd probably be able to get a whole bunch of XP from it. Alright, so we're coming close towards the end of the stream. Uh, we're gonna play, like I said, 10 more minutes of this, and then we're gonna probably call it a day. But I like the fact that the game actually lets you, you know, progress, open up new skills and whatnot as you keep playing along. The game is beautiful. Um, I'm assuming they're gonna add new things to it. And it just plays properly. There hasn't been no glitches so far. So persistence. You really want to know about the boss. Boss, no red nose. In fact, used to be bullied it was because his nose was red like mine red nose prayed every day to be able to obtain power that he can wield to rule everyone that was when a dark energy surrounded him the red nose was overtaken by rage and desire for vengeance the black spirit said tiny nose has left the safety of his cave and ventured out nearby go and speak with him okay it's let's go see he's been talking to you <laughs> okay let's go ahead and see what's going on with this Still a grind, how lots more to get they drink. Yeah, yeah. That is true. I know for sure now if it was Tiny Nose saying it's true, I know that his energy is. It's calling out to us. It's exciting. It's hiding in the darkness and so full of rage. That's why no one can find him. I could let him loose, of course, if he wanted to. Are you ready? What you're about to see might seem like fantasy, but it might just be your new reality. What do you want me to do? Once you acquire knowledge of a monster, it will be po it will be possible to gauge its HP. Knowledge of a monster can be acquired by random by defeating it. Go to the place designated by the Black Spirit and use the scroll to summon and defeat the Red Nose. Ooh, okay. Sounds good. We're gonna go ahead and take Red Nose. Alright, let's go ahead and take Red Nose and then we're gonna end the stream there, but we're pretty much... I'm assuming Red Nose has gotta be that big motherfucker. I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. That's why we weren't able to engage him because I said, you know, I figured that was pretty much him. I figured that'd be him. Let's see. So if I go ahead and click on this... I knew that was Red Nose. I fucking knew that was Red Nose. I knew that was him. I knew that was Red Nose. How did I not know? <laughs> I'm like, there's a reason why that motherfucker pops up, but then we can't even defeat him because other players were actually engaging him. And now we know that it's him. Okay. Definitely him though. Okay, I gotta use everything I learned. Everything I learned. Okay, my health is still good. It's intact. Oof, a lot of combo wombos. A lot of combo wombos. I'm gonna defeat him though. Oh, 
Oof, my mans. You can kick these motherfuckers too. Fuck out of here, my man, Red Nose. Shoot up the Red Nose Reindeer. You were sucking out subjects. I gotta make sure. Coco, careful, careful. Use your, use your potions, my man. Use your potions, Coco. Use your potions. Keep, your, keep, keep a look on your freaking health. Keep a, keep a look at your health on the top right, Coco. You leveled up. You leveled up. That's good. He's done. 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 He killed him. He killed Red Nose. Well done. I knew you could defeat Red Nose. Fear not. My powers will protect you. After all, what's the worst that can happen other than just dying, right? Go to the place designated by the Black Spirit and use the scroll to summon and defeat Red Nose. Should you fail to defeat Red Nose, you can retry the quest. Complete the target bacteria, use the Imp Captain Summon Scroll and defeat Red Nose. We just did this. We just completed this. Why do people keep bothering us with their problems everywhere we go? It's annoying, it's just a human thing. People are in the power of the worst. And speak of the devil, yet another human with something I'm sure demands our attention. Oh well, might as well see what he wants. So how excitement, right? <laughs> this is just the beginning. You can't even imagine what's ahead of you. Till then, I've got your back and you've got mine, right? Here's a little something I prepared specially for you. The black spirit looks he wants to give us a reward apparently. So let's summon the black spirit again and see what reward he gives us. He's gonna give us more inventory space. That's that's beautiful. Coco and the red choke pedophile. He steals all your kids. What the fuck? First on the 90 smithing, so like. Well, the dragon bone armor is actually the best. Most better than Daedric, no? Alright, so we pretty much figured out. We learned a new skill, too, so. Let's go ahead and open those inventories. We gotta. We open new inventory spaces, as you can see. We actually got a new sword. The Elsh Long Sword. That's gonna be 13. Special effect HP recovery plus five plus by five percent of chance per hit. All AP up, all accuracy up, extra damage to all species plus five. We're definitely gonna equip that bullshit. Um, we're gonna sell pretty much all these other things that we don't need. We did get more inventory space. Let's go ahead and speak with this guy and see what the hell he wants. He looks like an important guy. That's Cliff. That's Cliff. I was rather surprised to hear Uno say that you just took off. You and I are the same. We value actions over words. Immediately after your departure, I assembled the force to break through the Steel Imps to rendezvous with you here. You really are quite extraordinary. To defeat that scoundrel, Red Nose, so quickly, history has been written today, my friend. Our names will sure go down in history. What you, what you mean our names? You didn't do shit. What the fuck? So we're we currently preparing to lead an attack against a horde of goblins uno told me about you he said that you have some kind of illness i know someone who may be able to help you he's a famous alchemist you should go introduce yourself to him i'll return to the camp drive out the rest of the imps and prepare to fall back if only the lord recommended someone like you sooner ah please disregard what i said it's not important take care Dragon and Daedric are extremely similar, so if I just get Daedric, I'm good. But, but, Dragon Bone? You sure? I thought Dragon Bone was better, no? Could be wrong. Whoop, we uncovered new things. We learned a little bit more about the game's lore and whatnot. I am going to try to do a little bit more of Black Desert later on today. We're able to run like a motherfucker now, like... We got super speed now for whatever reason. My man looks like he's on speed or some shit. I was about to say, how is he running so quick? Well, it, it says I have my my timer is up by two. I wonder if you can. You must be able to freaking. Uh, let me see. You must be able to. Can you actually speed travel over there? You can't speed travel. There's a bandit camp over here too. 
Okay, so we can't speed travel over there. Okay, that's fine. That's why they're giving us a horse. Once we get a horse... Okay. I'm not even paying attention to the chat on the lower left. Not our chat, I'm saying in stream. I'm sorry, I meant the lower... The chat that's... So there's an in-game chat on the lower left. That I'm just like looking at the people when somebody wrote, Who else here thinks the little black spirit is going to backstab us? So there's players who are chatting in game. It's just interesting to see that. You've come to Logia Farm. Logia Farm. Although the fields are Gosh, I'm so bored. How long do I have to stand here? Potatoes. At the altar of Agris, Cliff recommended you meet his alchemist friend in Velia. Follow the coastal road to reach Velia. Small nose? That's a cute name, but he's an imp. Haha, <laughs> since it's Captain's Cliff orders. I'll bring him here, but like I said, the goblin worker here is afraid of imps. If Small Nose has heard has a hard time here, I'll send him to Santo Manzi and Vela. He's the work supervisor there. Vela is a bigger town so Small Nose might have an easier time there, hmm? Oh you headed there now. Well that's perfect. Velia's nearby just down the hill. It's a beautiful village by the coast. So that small nose, he's inside the imp cave. You can go straight to Vela. I'll take care of the small nose. Se Severo Logia at Logia Farm said you'd be the perfect person to take care of the small nose. Okay. Are you headed to Velia? I just happen to be in need of some help delivering some grapes over to Indasil Vineyard. Their vine is second to none, but the path is crawling with imps and other beasts now. If you could escort my porter, Indazil will pay you upon your arrival. Severo Logia Logia Farm asks you to deliver his grapes to Indazil, the master winemaker. Take Logia's porter to Indazil. I'll take it. I'll accept it. If you want to establish a trade route with Western Guard Camp, invest your contribution. So beautiful. I like. I like the game. The game is actually pretty good. Like I said. Um, you can invest in our farm node through me. So you can invest in. I still don't know how the nodes work to be quite honest with you, but he was going to potato farming specialties. So we've encountered encounter new jobs and whatnot, so. Let's see, what time is it? 122. So I got maybe like 10 more minutes to play this. But so far from what I've seen, the game is actually pretty pretty good. Pretty good the game. Uh let me see. Let me look at these NPCs. Like I said, we're not gonna spend too much time with the NPCs because uh, the like game resets pretty much once the beta is done. Uh, once we get the early access for those who pre-order the game, I'm definitely going to go more in-depth with the we NPCs and whatnot. Is so. there anything you need? Did you know that? Villager. Let's see what else we can find here. There's definitely got to be some stuff here that we can actually take. Balenos 3. What is this? Can I actually go in here? can't even open this so it's telling me it's showing me something here but I can't even get in there okay that's perfectly fine so I, the only thing I'm concerned about that I'm confused is the nodes I don't know how the nodes work what the fuck is this shakas this is my treasure blackstone made the goblin chief strong now I want to be strong this stone will not be given to anyone what the fuck Nani is playing with his Pringles bullshit I found Nani playing with his Pringles pocket pussy. P p pocket pussy. <laughs> what the fuck? My man over here had something here. Uh, he's doing something with that stone. I have a feeling that that's not going to be a good thing of him having that stone. Anyways, let's go ahead and escort this mission that they told us to do. So, also one of the flowers. Who do I have to escort? Let's see. I'm assuming it's him. Are you a guide? Depart. Continue. Okay, so I gotta guide this guy. Is he gonna follow me? He is gonna follow me. Okay, let's go this way, my man. He's gonna be on the horse. So I like I like these escort missions. A lot of uh, previous games used to have stuff like this. So, uh, another Japanese motherfucker over there. Alright, come here. Uh, let's speak with this guy. This guy seems to have some, some knowledge. Vongole. Did Mr. Logia yell at you? Logia said that he was tricked by Santo Manzi. What is he referring to? I don't know, my man, but some shit happened there. Let's start going with the little 
Is he gonna, is he gonna, an ass? Oh shit! Con mi burrito sabanero voy camino de Belén Si me ven, si me ven I'm gonna jerk off on the bed Si me ven, si me ven I'm gonna jerk off in my bed Dookie 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 da Baby girl she better hurry before I go bust a nut Alright um Oh it's a guy, wait it's a guy? Oh, it's a guy! Oh shit, my bad. It's a guy. It's a guy. Alright, my man, hurry the fuck up. We got shit to do. Uh, I'm assuming they want us to go through here? There better not be no monsters. My man. Like, hurry the fuck up with your donkey ass. Your donkey. Donkey. Hurry up with your donkey, 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 donkey. Get the fuck up. Where, where you at? My man, like, like, what do I gotta do for you to hurry up? Come here. The fuck? My nephews are outside and running in the hallway. Donkey. I like those, uh,. Those freaking, uh, the little song in the background. It's like, uh, in in angelic screams. I don't know how to call it. Like some lady singing in the background. You have entered a safe zone. Okay, so we found where we need to go. Come down here, my man. Let's see what's, what's going on here. Let's speak with the soldier. Gosh, I'm so bored. How long do I have to stand here? Well, you're good now. You see the huge castle towering over there? That's Kron Castle. That's where a massive explosion there. There was a massive explosion there a long time ago, but I've no idea how it happened. All I do know is that sometimes people make pointless bets to see how can swim to the castle first, but you know how many people have had to fish out the water? Oh, it's been so long since I've chatted with someone. I got carried away. Now that I think about it, why are you here? Did you have a question? That's Nani again. I found Nani! It's worth it, man. The game is lovely. I love the fucking game. I love the game. Just follow the coast and it should lead you straight to Vela. How do you get to Vela? Follow the coast and you should see a big town. Well, don't worry. It's easy to find. You can find the person you want to meet there. Okay? About Vela's famous alchemist. Alchemist? You must be talking about Alustin. Yes, he's a very famous alchemist who works with elements. He's the first house you see as soon as you go into town. Ask me again if you can't find it. Uh, the reason why we're... Phew, that's why I'm standing here. It's the most popular fishing site in our town. I worry sometimes that an ancient an accident might occur. There is actually an event here that you can actually fish. They give you an hour. And you are able to get something from here. So we're gonna try that later on as soon as we leave this motherfucker in place. But we do need... We do need some... Look at the water, man. The water looks amazing. My god, look at the way the water looks. Is it just me or the water looks amazing? Damn. You, it's called aggroing, so it's called aggro. You gotta aggro the enemy. If you don't aggro the enemy, the enemies won't fight you. Imagine if the enemies attacked you whenever they saw you, that the servers will go glitchy. You have to aggro them. That's, that's the whole point of MMO sometimes. You gotta aggro the monsters. It's not like you can, you know... I mean, it depends. Like I said, this is not the, this is the beta stages. For all we know, once the actual game comes out, we're actually gonna have them attack us as soon as they see us. So, is that local Doken? Did local Doken? They're doing the fishing event. They're doing the fishing event, which I need to do. I need to do the fishing event. Where the fuck is the guy with the horse? Did I miss the guy with the horse? Wait a minute. Where the fuck is he? Wait a minute. The guy with the donkey. Wait, where is he? Oh, get the fuck out of here. Don't tell me I went inside the water and I fucked it up. 
I don't know what version to get. Peace Coco, does it t does it tell a real nibba name Nani what to get? Check each one. Each one has different things. You, obviously, the one that costs more money, you're gonna get different things with it. I think I lost track of the guy. Where's the guy with the fucking thing? Oh my lord, I, I think I lost him. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Oh my lord, express delivery. Take the porter to Indasia. I lost him. I, I don't know where he went. Where the fuck did he go? Don't tell me I gotta go back and do it all over again. Oh my lord, Dios mío. I lost him. I lost him. Don't tell me because I went in the water. That motherfucker didn't follow me. That motherfucker died. No, 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 no way, no way, no way that could have happened. I ended up getting the most expensive version just because it was it was easier for me to do it. Uh my lord, this fucking guy, man. How the hell he just because I went inside of the water doesn't mean that motherfucker should have disappeared. Please tell me that's not the case. I fucking knew it. He he respawned again. Come on, let's go. Are you gonna follow me? Can I speak to him? Wait a minute. I kinda fucked up, guys. Does the other one give you like some kind of Zenkai boost? No, I just give you some things that you can take with you. Okay, now now we're able to do it. Now he should be able to. Okay, now we we, we got it. We got we're back on road. We're back on road. It's because we got we got into the water. Uh, let's lesson learn. Do not get in the water because then the guy will pretty much die and you won't be able to complete the mission. Uh, pretty much getting getting the standard edition. You're just not gonna get the perks of the other stuff that comes with it It's more. It's just more DLC stuff You'll have more extra storage. So the way I see it is you're gonna have more storage For this you're gonna have somewhere to place more things because this game looks like it's gonna be a lot of uh, uh, Gathering things, you know, you, you could fish you could do farming There's just so many things to do in this game from the looks of it. My man with the horse, please. I mean with the donkey, please hurry the fuck up. Uh you do have uh I forgot the name of it. I'll try to break down what I what I can with what I had. I'll try to break down what, what, what the addition comes with, but basically it's just a whole bunch of stuff that's going to be useful in game that I just said let me just get it for the fuck of it. It's just stuff that I know we're gonna use. It's gonna just make your, your gaming experience a little bit more easier, more more enhanced, I should say. Come on, come on, Mr. Donkey Man. Donkey. Donkey. Come on, sir. Uh, I'm gonna try to find a fishing rod. I should be able to find a fishing rod. So there's, uh, like I was saying, there is some events that the, the creators have brought out for us. Which I'm gonna try to pretty much accomplish once I get in there. So, uh, once I get into this, this main village or town, I should be able to get what I need. Okay, so we brought the we we brought the guy to the main village. That's what we wanted. Express delivery. Take a post. Take the porter into Indazi. We got him in here. We got him in here. Welcome to Velia. Um, wait, mm, no, you're not one of them. Strange as it may sound, pirates have been around their area. I'm Hans, so you're from far away. I've never felt, I've never left Velia, so I'm curious about the outside world. There is no regular army here. Okay, well, we got a conversation up. But the game is beautiful nevertheless, like I said. Um, I'll show you guys later on what the event is about. We brought, we brought the guy over here. Let's bring him in here. Santo Manzi Investment Bank. You can actually invest in nodes and banks. There's just so much to do, and I like this. I, I brought the guy into the port. We took the porter to Indazid. We are in Indazid. What else are we going to do? My 
friends, there's no need to think of alchemy as something difficult. So we're gonna speak with the alchemists. Alchemy begins with understanding the fundamental principles. You gotta put a finger on your butt and then see if there's Nikakita in there. Exists, there's some Kakita, you're like, yeah, I gotta go push that shit out. What's happening? Look, that staff is shaking. This device is supposed to react to black energy. My friends, don't panic. It is just a small amount of energy. By any chance, is there a stranger among us? They're talking about us. A greater world awaits your discovery. I'm Alustin. I study alchemy here. And now he's like, what the hell? <laughs> Come look for Welcome. me. Welcome, you must be the one Captain good. Cliff spoke of. So we, we completed the quest, we spoke with the alchemist. I see you lost your memories, but have somehow managed to keep your sanity despite being engulfed by the darkness. This is the most rare. Losing your memories may be a defensive mechanism, your mind's way of enabling you to retain your sanity. You may even have been an adventurer before this dreadful incident took place. It seems destiny has quested you with the biggest adventure of all. An adventure to find your memories. You might even meet someone along the way that recognizes you. But before you go, it would be a good idea to rest. I recommend you seek out the village chief. Old Igor does love a good adventure tale. Alright. Time spent on conversation and inquiry is never in vain. We are nothing but prey in the outside world. You must acquire as many skills and learn as much knowledge as you can. Remember, Peshesha, never falter in your studies, nor should you be stingy in helping others. Follow this advice and you will flourish. Knowledge begets all creation. A greater world awaits your discovery. Okay. Where the fuck is the guy with the donkey? Don't tell me that motherfucker left again. Oh my lord, lordy lordy, some fifi shit. Where the fuck is this guy? I don't want to do that shit again. I really don't. Where the fuck is that? Where the fuck is? Let me let me figure this out. Let me figure this out. Wait a minute. The fucking. This is what I gotta do. I gotta take that motherfucker over there. So I gotta, I gotta pretty much go get this motherfucker one more time. Oh, what the fuck? Another horse died. A cave bear appeared in a dragon fucking spot. <laughs> That's the worst. That's the worst when that happens. Okay, so I'm gonna go really quick and get another one of those donkey motherfuckers. At least now I know where to get them. So if you're ever lost on your quest, you got your primary quest. And you got your secondary quest. Here you pretty much are gonna find your, you know, your main quests. You have your area quests, your mains ongoing. Express delivery is pretty much what we want to do. I want to take care of this because even though everything is going to reset, once the beta finishes, from what I was reading, none of this is going to carry over. So it doesn't really matter what you do, but I like being a perfectionist. I like pretty much completing my quests if I pick something up. Now, if I fail it, I fail it, right? It's no big deal. But I like completing my quests. I like completing my quests. If I pick something up, I like finishing it. Just like in real life. If you're gonna pick something up, you best motherfucker make sure you complete that shit. Anyways, my man. Uh, can we... Can we go? Bang, 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 mi pana, bang, 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 mi pana, bang. Need to kill, go kill that dragon, go kill that dragon. So after this, we're actually gonna go play a little bit of Fortnite. Uh, I'm gonna probably be playing some Fortnite for like an hour. I'm probably gonna take like a little 15, 20 minute break. So I gotta take a dookie. I gotta take a dookie. Nani was talking all about dookies. Now I gotta take a dookie too. Um, so I'm probably gonna go take like a 15, 20 minute break. And then I'm gonna set up for Fortnite. Loco Doken is going to be playing with me. I don't know if anybody else is gonna be coming with us to play Fortnite. But uh, yeah. Wait a minute. Where do you want me to take him? You want me to take him this way? You want to ride me like a cruise wait so they don't want me to take him to the village wait where, where, where do you want me to take him the castle is on that side right is it am i seeing this right you want me to take him this way i guess he wants me to my man with the fucking donkey hurry the fuck up i'm not shrek my man like hurry the fuck up he wants me to take him through i thought that was a monster i was gonna say it's a carriage Fucking horses. 
He wants me to take him down. Hell, I think this is another road that takes people down to uh, the town. And that's okay, because we do have soldiers here. Hopefully, they don't attack us. Okay. My man, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, I just want to drop you off so I can go take a dookie. A dookie with a pookie. A rookie with a tookie. Sometimes you got to take those really good dookies where you just sit there for like 30 minutes. And you just be on your phone, and then all of a sudden you feel like, oh shit, I forgot to wipe my ass. Like, though, that's when you know you, you took a good dookie, you know what I mean? Uh, and you're about to put your pants up, and you're like, wait a minute, I forgot to wipe my ass. And you feel like a dirty ass motherfucker, and then you realize, damn, I took a good ass dookie. Because my horse died, now I need to travel on foot. Well, you can, you, you can fast travel. I know in Skyrim you can fast travel. One of the beauties of it. My character, Peshosha. I like the music too. It's a little bit jazzy. When you're in the coast, you actually hear like an angelic singing. So this does bring you to the to the village, in a sense. Okay, so we brought him where we need him to bring him. My man. Come here. We brought him. We brought him in. I brought him to Indazi. He's trying to pin this on a friend. Indazi's grapes are tasty. If you want, you can pick up a few bunches. And you can make grape juice with mineral water and sugar. He's trying to pin this on a friend, okay? Wait, what? Oh, my bad. My wine is a specialty that represents Valencia. One drinking one drinking that though, Coco, can I die from that? I mean what? That sentence made no sense. I'm going I'm going to an undiscovered location. Ah She was like, let me find out you drinking coding. What the fuck? Coding? Why coding out of all things? Have you met Mr. Logie? I've heard they're having a hard time as well these days. In the, the fundamentals of good wine are hard ways. The right temperature and a long time aging in an oak barrel. Some of Severo's grapes, thankfully, they are better than the ones ruined by the weasels. The best wine is made Ooh, by aging quality grapes. We're gonna get a whole bunch of barrels. gold. We can only pick one of these ingredients down here. So let's see. We have beer. Beer actually lets you. It can be produced by using the cooking. Beginners level one. This gives you working stamina recovery plus two, a gathering speed plus one, movement speed. I think I'm gonna go with the meat stew because at whatever point we're gonna need. Actually, you know what? Gathering might actually be better. Better. Let's go with the pie. Let's go with the pie. Usha Farm is a place where I often make trades. It's up on the hill. All right. All right. All right. All right. We don't need to speak to Indazo. Maybe Indazo got another quest for us. The goblins that I hired oh, that's it. So we completed that quest. So we're pretty much... Uh, the next episode of Black Desert, we're going to pretty much explore the rest of the town and see what they have for us. There is an in-game quest of things for us to do, which, you know, I'm going to go ahead and save. It's, it's pretty much going to save right here. Um, let's go ahead. Can we save? I think it automatically saves, to be quite honest with you. Let's go ahead and disconnect. At this point, I think it, it already saved. But I'm going to show you pretty much the events that I want to focus on next time. Um, we reached level 6. Uh, let's go ahead and disconnect and I'll show you what I'm talking about. You know, I'm talking to someone drink and it got hella mad at me. You better not be drinking that Cody, my man. So, like I said, in the next episode, uh, we're going to play a little bit later on today, Black Desert. Next, we're going to play Fortnite. After Fortnite, we're going to play Onward. After Onward, we're going to play Ark Survival. After Ark Survival, we're going to get back into Black Desert. I want to keep playing Black Desert. The game is amazing, but really quick before we end the stream in the next five minutes or so, I wanted to show you guys the end game events that I'm going to try to complete for you guys. Um, these are This is interesting because this is how... The game keeps players engaged, but let me show you really quick what I'm talking about. So, the PS4 beta events, this is pretty much going to be ongoing for the next couple of days and whatnot. Today is actually, what, the 10th? 
Today is the 10th, so we missed out on the event for the 9th. Today there's one called War There, Horsey, and Hide and Seek. So for 810, we missed 89, which is an unfortunate thing. I wish we could have done that. We would have gotten these rewards. But for today, uh, North America is from 7 p.m. to 10 a.m. Location, the hill, the hill south of Belia. So we're actually in Belia. Uh, successfully tame a wild horse and register it to the stables manager. So we're going to try to go ahead and register our first horse. We need a capturing rope and a lump of raw sugar. So that's going to be the next mission. Uh, event rewards, we get the Dark Thorn Horse gear set. Uh, but this item can only be used during the beta test, but I still want to practice it because once the real game launches, they're going to give you quests like this. You're going to have to start getting used to what to do so that way you can acquire these these beautiful, uh, what's it called, uh, extra uh, you know elements that you can add to your in-game um, horse or, or items and whatnot. Then for the other one on 810, Hide and Seek, uh, all of Black Desert, claim the medal by finding the GM black through yellow. So you gotta find these motherfuckers that are hiding in the forest. Uh, claim the metal by finding the GM black or yellow. So we're gonna have to find these guys. Event rewards. First 10 winners to get more after launch. So there's stuff for us to do. It just keeps players engaged. On the 11th, which is tomorrow, we gotta push a cart along the route and cross the finish line. First team winners get after launch. We get a whole bunch of stuff. And the last event for the 11th, we got we just keep getting stuff, you know. At the end of the 13th, there's gonna be the firework finale. Take a screenshot of the fireworks and post it on social media. So they're gonna have events where we can actually get to look at these fireworks. It's just a lot of great things for us to enjoy. The game is gonna be amazing, like I said. They always find ways to keep the players engaged, so I think it's gonna be great. Uh, yes, keep playing Black Mirror. Can I can I transfer to the real game? Well, the beta stuff is not going to transfer from what I'm reading. It's just for you to get to enjoy the game, play it, see if there's any bugs, try to fix those bugs and whatnot. Now, I do get early access. Nani, if you order the standard edition, whatever edition you order, we are going to get, I think, two or three days early access. The early access is going to transfer into the actual game. So this beta game is not the early access. The beta stages is just for us to test the game, see how it plays see how it works see what classes you're gonna pick because once we get the early access we're actually going to be able to go and and play the game how it's supposed to be played but you're kind of gonna have a head start because now you're gonna know what to do what am i gonna do first what am i not gonna do first uh the game is really good the beta is for free check it out play it see what you think about it but like i said whether you order the standard the deluxe or the extra edition whatever the fuck it's called I ordered the most expensive one because I want to get a little head start, a little help on, on what I need to get started. It comes with mounts, it comes with a horse, I think. It comes with a whole bunch of things that are going to help you just make more immersive of the game experience. So anyways, we're going to leave it there for now. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying this gameplay of Black Desert. If you're new to the channel, consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell. And if you are already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button. With that being said, my boys and girls, we're going to leave it there for now. I'm going to take a 15-20 minute break. We're probably going to get back and play some Fortnite. So if you're going to play Fortnite with me, please get your phones, get your PS4, Switch, whatever ready where you're going to play Fortnite. And then we're going to stream live playing some Fortnite for like an hour or so. Me, Local Doka, and I'm going to team up. Anybody else who wants to join, you're more than welcome. I'll see you boys and girls in about 20 minutes. I'm going to set up, and I'll see you then. I'll leave you with the outro, and I'll see you next time. Peace. I gotta take a motherfucking shit. I gotta take a motherfucking shit. I gotta take a dookie with the pookie. Tookie, tookie. Oh, wait, I'm still alive. <laughs>